I sometimes forget what it feels like to talk to a safe person because conversations with safe people, I feel are sometimes very few and far between. Like finding someone that like when I talk to them, it doesn't feel like there's just building tension. Like they're fully listening to me and listening to understand what I'm saying and responding in that sense and not putting words in my mouth, not jumping to conclusions not making assumptions, like just fully present in the moment with me. And I just have to remind myself, like, I'm more likely to find people like this if I search for them with intention. I think I've been very disappointed with coworkers. Like, why are you a safe person? Because they're coworkers or like we're in the same building because we have to be. Because we're there to do a job. We're not there to socialize. Like socializing with coworkers makes the like the time go faster and it makes working a more enjoyable experience. But that's um just like a perk. It's, it's an add-on. It's not the main thing. Not saying that I don't recognize that. It's just it's disappointing when it doesn't work out that way. Or it's disappointing when it looks like it may work out that way and then people are like, they show themselves to not be safe people. But um, I've just become... I just noticed Josie's elephant toy just staring at me. It looks like it's giving a speech at a town hall meeting and I'm just in a crowd. But... um yeah I've just become more accepting of that and I bounce back quicker when I'm disappointed in people I think it's the disappointing the disappointment comes in when I know how I treat other people like I go in with a an openness and generosity and I, maybe it's because I, I know I'm able to hold space for people. So like when people are, are just like quick to like misunderstand me, like she was misunderstand me. Like I've had conversations with coworkers where, I don't know, they they're, they're just like start attacking me for no reason. And as I've been learning boundaries, like I'm like, I'm not engaging in this conversation anymore. And they will just like keep going and then they're like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that was rude. But we're like, come on, keep talking, keep talking. And then I'm like, no, I, I've already made it clear that I'm not going to engage the conversation. If you continue doing that, you continue doing that. Like, I get that you're apologizing now, but I still do not want to get a conversation with you anymore. At least, like, at that city or whatever, you know. Like, if I see, like, if time passes or, like, maybe it's, like, until the end of that shift. And then, like, the next time I see them, like, I'm not going to ignore them until the day I die. It's just, I felt very disrespected I laid down a boundary and I want to stick to it type thing but I want to make a video to hear myself out loud saying that safe people for me exist even if they're not all immediately around me like even if I haven't met them all yet and My life is on an upward climb. It just keeps getting better and better. And I just want to continue to focus on my blessings and openness and as disappointment and like hurt feelings come along the way, acknowledge them, allow myself to feel it, but not live in it. But I've gotten a lot better at doing those things. Um, I just have to remind myself to focus on my outlets and not let distractions like people who do not care at all about my best interests um, slow me down or hold me back. <laughs>